Hi, my name is Isaiah Wu. I am a student here at the Eastman School of Music and I'm studying cello performance and instrumental music education. And I'm finishing up my first year here. If you're watching this video, you're probably a prospective student or um, one of the members on my uh, orientation group. Stay tuned, I'm just gonna give you a glimpse into what the dorm rooms here look like and what the restrooms look like. Um, I'm doing this video because when I came here for the first time, um, I didn't really know much about um, the dorms here and there weren't really any videos on YouTube um, showing what the rooms looked like, so I didn't really know what to expect. So that's why um, I'm making this video. And at the end, I'm just gonna give a few tips um, about what to bring and things that I brought that I didn't need and things like that. Um, so for now, I'm just going to show you around. Um, I live in the tower uh, and the rooms are different depending on where you live. So if you are assigned to a tower room, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Um, you might be assigned to a house room, um, which would look slightly different, um, but so here is um, what my room looks like, and it's pretty not small, but you know, it's, it gets pretty cozy in here. And um, so, and it's really messy right now because I'm just like cleaning it out and I'm about to move out tomorrow. So it will not look as messy as this. Um, but so as you can see, there's like a bed here and there is like this little, storage thing kind of like a night stand um, but it has a drawer in it that's where i keep my contacts and like medicine and stuff and then on top of this i just put um you know all my toiletries and things like that and then we have a four drawer um four drawer like dresser thing um and this is where i keep like my socks and my most of my clothes and I actually keep my music um, on the bottom here and my desk is a hot mess but my roommate just moved out so I'll show you what the desk looks like and if you are in the tower you will be getting new furniture um, if you are in one of the houses you will have old furniture furniture but I'll go into the detail details of the difference the differences uh, later but this is if you are in a tower this is what the desk looks like it's actually like pretty small as you can see but um, you know you make it work if you can like keep it clean like unlike me um, you should be fine uh, this is like a fancy like light thing that's like motion activated but um, yeah so besides the desk uh, the bed is lofted in the towers um, and then you get this like big dresser thing with like this thing on the side. Um, but this is like what the dresser looks like. And when you open it up, it's like this. And then you put all your hangers here. This is where I keep a lot of my blankets and stuff. Um, and then there's two drawers here. Um, pretty big actually pretty big drawers so there's actually a lot of like space in in the drawers and things um and then as you can see there's like a ladder that goes up to the bed um and that's that i'll just like give you a better glimpse of the room there's a dresser here's my side of the room it's definitely a hot mess my cello. And this is my roommate's side. Might be hard to see with the lighting here. Um, oh, and also the desk has like a little drawer thing right here, which is nice. That's where I keep all my pencils and pens and extra papers and things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into things that um, are def definitely good to bring, helpful. Um, so if you are going to be wearing a tuxedo um, with tails for um, whether it's the symphony orchestra or choir 
or anything like that, I really, really would recommend um, getting a tux beforehand um, where you live. Um, one, for me, it was it was hard to get one here because I'm just like so small and like I really need a really small size. Um, so I had to like order one online and it didn't fit and things like that. So I really would just recommend um, coming with uh, your tails um, to Eastman. Um, also, laundry basket is really nice. Uh, the laundry is in the basement of our living center and you need something to carry it all, obviously. And I, I had like a hamper, like a cloth-like hamper and it was nice, but it, it was just like really flimsy. So I would recommend like a hard, like a plastic uh, laundry hamper. Um, one thing I didn't bring enough of was uh, clothes hangers. If you are someone with like a lot of t-shirts and clothes and things like that, like I had a lot and I just ran out of hangers really fast. So I definitely would bring more than you think you need. If you are in the tower or anywhere actually, uh, the SLC actually gets pretty warm even in the winter time. So I would definitely bring a box fan or order one and ship it here once you get here. Um, to put like near the window even because um, it does get pretty hot um, with the heating here um, especially in the summer so just putting like a box fan at the window especially in the summer in August um, to like let the air ventilate a little more is super super helpful something that is going to save your life is command hooks the um, ones that can like peel off the wall and things I just got a ton and that's how I hang my sweatshirts and my umbrella and Ooh, bring an umbrella. That's really helpful. Um, and things like that. So just bring a lot. I use it for my towels. Um, definitely power strips. Uh, like, extent, not extension cords, because those aren't allowed. But, like, where you, like, plug it into the wall. But then there's, like, six. Um, I would definitely bring a couple of those. Shower caddy. That is really necessary, especially since you are in a communal bathroom, which I will show you in a second. But I have a caddy with all my stuff in it, my toothbrush, toothpaste, and shampoo, anything like that. So that one I got from like Bed Bath & Beyond. It was really cheap, easy to get. Um, shower shoes are really helpful or flip-flops. Um, I like my shower shoes because they have like holes in it. It's kind of like slides, but with holes. I just don't like being barefoot in the restroom and shower and just kind of, you know, communal restrooms. New and old furniture. So, um, if you're in the tower, if you're assigned to the tower, you'll definitely get this new furniture. Um, if you are in the houses, you'll get old furniture. And the difference is that uh, the desks are a lot like longer, so you'll have a lot more space. The dresser, I think, is still four drawers, but I think it's like longer as well. It, it's the same height as the desk, so. With the dressers in the houses, the old furniture, um, there's like less room for hangers and it's kind of really long and then there's like a little like compartment with like several drawers in the, dr in the wardrobe. But I think there still is that top compartment. I brought like a decent number of shoes and what I had was like a shoe rack over here, like a smaller shoe rack, which was like super helpful um, that my mom encouraged me to bring. And I didn't think I would need it, but I, I actually did. And it was really helpful just to organize my shoes. Oh, uh, with carpet, if you're curious about if the rooms have carpet, the tower rooms do not have carpet, so it is definitely tile. If you bring like a Swiffer duster slash mop thing, that's really helpful with cleaning. With the houses, some rooms have carpet, some rooms are tile, so I would definitely wait um, until you get here before thinking about things like vacuums or like mops or anything like that. Um. One thing I definitely noticed, at least in this tower room, I'm on the 13th floor, and it gets really dark in here, and there, there's like one light up there, but it really like doesn't do much, and like this side of the room has like no light, so if you wanted to bring like a lamp, um, that would, I think that like makes a big difference. 
um, and like obviously opening the window and things like that. So without further ado, let's go to the restroom. So just so you can see what it looks like. It's like 1 a.m. right now, so everyone's asleep. I'm probably super loud. So here's what the restroom looks like. It's like not that big and there's two stalls, two sinks, and the showers are here. This is what it looks like. Nothing really special or anything. Um, yeah, it seems really small, like a lot smaller than you think, but honestly, in the tower, there's not that many guys that live on this floor, so like, Usually you'd never have to fight over the shower or, you know, most of the time there's never like two people in both of the stalls. So again, it's communal, communal, so you do have to like bring things in and out. And, um, so yeah, I hope that this tour uh, was helpful. If you have any questions about Eastman, residential life what to bring what not to bring definitely leave a comment down below and i will respond and try to be as helpful as i can one last thing i think it's helpful if there are like small things like laundry detergent tissues things like that um definitely don't bring those just wait to get them when you get here um there's like target and walmart and things like that close by so if your parents drove you here um you know, definitely um, wait to get those when you get here. One thing is that Rochester gets like really snowy uh, So definitely would invest in a nice pair of winter boots I have like bean boots that I got this year and I use them a ton Yeah, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching and uh, Yeah, if you're a prospective student, I really hope that uh, you consider Eastman It's such a great place and there are so many opportunities that I found here that uh, that you really can't find anywhere else and the community is just so friendly and so warm and welcoming so yeah my name is Isaiah Wu if you ever come up to visit uh, this year or in the next couple of years definitely reach out to me um, I'd be happy to grab coffee with you and uh, yeah have a good one thanks everyone